Before undergoing a PSA blood test, men should discuss the potential benefits and substantial harms with their doctor, according to new recommendations from the American College of Physicians. Well, it's doorway to potential harm because you end up needing to follow up with the result. And that potential harm is complications of diagnosis and complications of treatment. Procedures following a positive PSA test carry risks for complications, such as sexual dysfunction and urinary incontinence, for a disease that might never become clinically significant. That's the balance problem that you have is that sometimes the treatment is worse than the disease. ACP's new guidance statement, published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, includes talking points for doctors to help them explain the potential benefits and substantial harms of prostate cancer screening and treatment. Based on a review of all the available guidelines and the latest evidence, ACP concludes that men between the ages of 50 and 69 should discuss with their doctors whether or not to be screened and if they have a strong preference for it, proceed with PSA testing. ACP recommends against the PSA test for average risk men under the age of 50 or men older than 69. PSA testing is a problem because it is less accurate than we had hoped. Potentially you go forward with surgery uh, to, uh, for a relatively benign cancer that may never cause problems. ACP released the guidance statement to help doctors and patients make more informed decisions about screening for prostate cancer. For more information, go to acponline.org.